turn toward the chair now and making sure that there is enough room in front and behind for you to take a nice wide stance. We're gonna walk our feet a little bit wider. We're gonna try this pose without and then with the block. We're gonna turn the front foot completely out and have that back foot turn slightly in. So we have a little bit of a triangle pose. And I'll turn this way just so that we can stay together and perhaps my words will match the actions. So we are standing behind the chair, one foot is turned out. What I'd like you to notice for yourself is making your feet wider yet. If that's comfortable, please do. And then begin to shift your weight toward the back leg. And at one point, whether you notice with your eyes or put your hand at this hip point, I just want you to know that this hip, this rotation of the pelvis that's already here is gonna stay. What we're not gonna do is try to turn it back. That's just really not nice for the knee or the lower back. And where we're going is to just shift our weight. This is a side fold. The arm in front can reach out. The hand at the chair can press down. And the more we fold and the more we reach out, the more this inner thigh set of muscles uh, tells us about it. Bend in the front knee. Put the free hand at the side of the chair. Use both hands to help you turn the upper body. Keep the lower body still. It's just the upper body that's been turned to look up. Keep the rib cage turning toward the ceiling and then turn your head and look ahead and then look down. Keep the legs firm. Today, I'm going to ask you to pull the legs together. If that's a new action, it might seem a little bit tedious. Just hang in there. And then as you exhale, straighten that front leg. Let the feet push away from each other. Turn your head back to center. Turn your head to look toward the ceiling. This is beautiful triangle pose. As you inhale, firm your legs. Take the top hand and notice if what you can do is place it at your hip. Drop the elbow back. Keep turning any amount. And then if you would like to try taking that arm straight up, all good, bend in the front knee. We're putting a lot of things together and staying just in a small increments of time to get a taste of all these places. As you inhale, come up right, and we have a little bit of warrior two, beautiful work. As you anchor the back hand, turn the front hand palm up, and we have a reverse warrior. And notice how each new place is a welcomed place. There's some element of recovery from what you were just doing. Relax, walk your feet in. Let the hands press down, keep the feet hip width apart. Notice the lift of the ribs and how one side of the body feels a little different than the other side. So we wanna repeat all of that opening the front body, anchoring with the back body, connecting a few poses, and then we'll come back and we'll have a rotation that's a counterbalance, which will be a recovery in itself. Let's step the feet wide again. This time we'll turn the other leg out. And at first I'm inviting you to make your feet especially wide, give yourself a challenge. Begin to shift your weight toward the back leg. Notice Thing that we're taking on this triangle pose. As you come into this side fold, take the front arm and reach it away. The more you reach the arm, the more I'm asking you to shift the pelvis away. Turn your head and look up towards the ceiling. Bring your hand to the side of the chair. Bend in the front knee and notice how the arms help you with turning the rib cage while the lower body, the foundation is still. The actions of the limbs are light but steady, constant. Keeping the rib cage turning toward the ceiling, turn just your head and look ahead, and then turn your head and look down. 
while you're here and the arms are still on, pull the legs toward each other. Just notice the difference. Notice the length through the sides of the neck and perhaps the freedom in the rib cage to a deeper breath. And when you're ready, straighten the front leg. Keep shifting the pelvis toward the back leg. Turn your head back to center. You're welcome to turn your head and look up. But now the top hand can come and rest at the hip. We can drop the elbow back and remind ourselves that, hey, we're turning the rib cage toward the ceiling. You're welcome to take the arm and reach up if that's what you are doing on the other side. Steadiness and ease. As you bend in the front knee, exhale. As you come upright, inhale. Engage the arms in this warrior two. Turn the front hand palm up. Let the muscles hug the bone. Lower the back hand. Lift the front arm. And keep the legs on your foundation helps you extend be at your longest spine we'll stay one more breath in this wonderful welcoming stance and then as you make your way back walk your feet in great work everyone your feet together now so i'm going to center as well so before we had feet hip width apart, and if your feet hip width apart position is more preferable, please keep it. But if you try feet together, if we were to do more balance work this way, there's maybe a, a little bit more of a challenge that we're underneath our center of gravity. Let the hands press down, lift the ribs, anchor the big toe mounds, lift the arches of the feet and the kneecaps, and just feel the lift through the front body. We're helping all of that by pushing the hands slightly down. We can really use the chair in remarkable, sneaky ways. And then we can get the lesson from the chair as the prop. If you're comfortable stepping your feet wide and stepping to the chair so it's right up against your body, I'm asking you to bring your hands against the back of the chair and pull back in towards you. And lift the sternum, lift your gaze, lengthen the tailbone down, lift the pelvic floor. Just be and breathe. We'll come back, we'll change it, put this opening to the front. Take the time now and bring your hands back to center, step slightly away. And turn to one side, doesn't matter which side. So turn to one side. So I kept my hands at the chair. I turned my feet to one side, and that's probably what I should have said. So from this place in the center, we'll walk our feet, and we'll be able to do that on the other side as well. And if you are wanting your twist to be greater, uh, this might be a wonderful place to stay. If you need the twist to be less, then you could step slightly back, and the twist in your spine is not as deep. The outside leg is going to step back. The inside leg is going to step forward. And we can keep playing with that. We can keep sending our feet further away. So we started with a triangle pose. We added side angle pose and a warrior two. And here we're having a revolved triangle. It's a wonderful recovery and a great standalone practice in itself. I can allow any amount of push pull, but I'm gonna encourage a light set of action. And we can do this revolved triangle preparation from an upright position, it's only wonderful. We could begin to fold and we could fold just enough to align with the back leg and maintain head staying with the midline of the body best we can and just change the angle of what the back and side body muscles are holding us with. Consider coming deeper into this fold. And as you do, if you can manage a wider stance, make your adjustment and then send the front hand to the side of the chair and come rotating. Beautiful. Bring the weight to the inner edges of the feet lightly. Keep reaching out the crown of the head. Turn your head and look back behind. And then turn your head and look ahead. 
bend in the front knee, lift the back heel, wiggle the back leg further, turn your head again to the side and possibly back behind. And now we have revolved side angle pose. The arms helping the strength work for this pose. As you inhale, come upright. As you exhale, slide the back leg slightly in. And we have warrior one. We're going to let go the outside arm and just reach up. And we can lift and lower the back heel and give the calf a little bit of its strengthening. The hand at the chair can press down. And depending on where you're standing, you can press down and forward. So it's nice to take something, whether it is a standalone pose, like that revolved triangle pose, and connect it through the transitions to all the similar ways that we can come up and practice shapes and find more resilience work. Slide the back leg to the front leg. The chair is here as you need. Come and sit. I know you might feel a little bit one-sided. Come and stand. That's why a pose of symmetry is so helpful. And then we're going to walk back just a little bit to stay with the chair and use this place to ground us as we turn around. Right. Again, the outside leg goes back. The inside leg is forward. We're going to keep adjusting to broaden the stance to give ourselves this lovely challenge. The legs are fairly straight. We can invite the kneecaps up. And we can stay here and do all the work just from here. This light push pull, deciding how much twist we want, the proximity to the chair. Now, come and fold a little bit. I am aiming at first for the upper body, the spine to follow the line of the back leg. Notice what you notice, make any micro adjustments. And as you're ready for more, come into any amount more of this fold. The hand that came across, the arm in front, can come to the side of the chair. One hand pushes, the other one pulls. We can turn and look up and back. Weight to the inner edges of the feet. The strengthening through the lower quadrant of the body is fantastic. Bend in the front knee. Wiggle the back leg further back. This is revolved side angle pose. Even here, we can pull the legs toward each other. Turn your head and look down. Turn your head and look back up and back behind. Different ways to just shift your mind's eye on your inner landscape not just to give your neck a break from where you were. Take the time now and inhale and bring yourself unwinding. The outside arm can reach up. You're welcome to anchor the back leg. The hand at the chair presses down or down and forward, and we can lift and lower the back heel, just teasing a little bit more tightness out of those hip flexors, and strengthening the calf and ankle, all so many wonderful ways to use Warrior One. Let's do two more. And again, please, sliding the back leg toward the front leg, front leg toward the back leg, coming to sit, aiming to sit back, and coming to stand and open. Beautiful. 